Welcome back to the Cook Menu Show again. All right, today we're gonna make something very simple. Yeah, very, very simple. Very, very simple and very cheap too, right? Very cheap, like very cost effective to make. Very okay. straightforward, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, what's the name of the flavor? It's just roasted pepper. Roasted pepper. Italian then. Italian? <laughs> yeah, yeah, another Italian. Oh man. Oh, yeah. Give me another <laughs> Italian. I can't wait though. I, I like Italian foods, but anyway, so these are all the. Uh, it's just different uh, colors of. It's all the same pepper. The bell peppers? Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. colors of bell peppers. Yeah, this is like a purple. It's like a brown purple one. Orange, yellow, and red. So we have different colors here. Just to keep it, you know, it looks less boring. <laughs> then we have some chopped parsley and some chopped garlic. And here we got some salt. Really simple. All right, so if you really want to do something quick in the house, yeah, I just go by these ingredients and that's it. All right. Yeah. So let's get it yeah, done. We can get started. All right. Yeah, let's get it done. Oh, let's get it done. Okay. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on our heat. So we're gonna go on high I'm using a double burner here, so it's gonna be high for both. What I recommend a grill pan. I normally I use like a barbecue or a charcoal grill, but I don't have that at the moment. So I'm I'm doing this indoors. When you do this, I recommend turning your fan on high because it's gonna produce a lot of smoke, and you don't want your, your smoke around turning on. Yeah. We're just gonna wait for this to get hot, and then we're gonna put our peppers on. What is the name of this? Oh, this is a it's a grill pan. Oh, this yeah. is a grill. Pan. Yeah. So next, our peppers go on on a grill pan because the grill pan is pretty hot. I'm not gonna touch it, but it's hot. <laughs> Okay. And when these go on, you're looking to give them a char, so it's gonna look actually burnt. When I do a flip, you see, <laughs> and it's going to smoke a lot. There's gonna be a lot of smoke involved. So make sure you have your fan on when you do this. So now I think these peppers are just about done. So what you're looking for is a nice even burn consistency all the way around. Okay. And I'll make sure it's got a nice burn char. I think it takes about 15, maybe 20 minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna ask you how long you do it. Yeah, about 15, 20 minutes per side. Consistently flip, make sure it's got a nice char around each side. So we take these off and we're just gonna put them in the container here. And then we're gonna cover it with uh, plastic wrap or if you have a cover. The steam is going to continue cooking these and then we're going to peel them. Okay. Let's give it a cover and as it's covered the steam, the residual steam from the peppers because it's really hot it continues to cook it and the steam makes the skin come off. So I'm going to uncover it in about five minutes and you sh I'll show you the next step. Okay, so the steam, I think it's been about five, 10 minutes now. Once I let it sit, you get to take off the plastic wrap and the steam has penetrated. I think it's cooked a bit more. So it's more, more limpy you now. <laughs> so you can just take these out and we're gonna take off the skin, of each one. Okay. Just start peeling away, come right off. Nice and easy. If you don't do this, the last step I just showed, it's gonna be really difficult for you to take the skin off. I don't think all of it's gonna come off, but if you can get off most of it, it should be better. If you don't wanna eat the burnt parts. This stuff is garbage there. It's still a bit hot. <laughs> yeah. There we go. It's cleaned. It should look like this. Let's put it back in here. On to the next one. So once you have them all cleaned, we're just gonna open these up and take the seeds out. But when you take the seeds out, it's very important. There's always going to be some juice inside. Mm -hmm. Some people throw it away. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep it because the juice has a lot of flavor and for mm -hmm. me it's important to have a ton of flavor. The more flavor you have, the better it tastes. So next we're going to take our seeds out. Have juice in here. We're going to keep all the juice. I've been doing this since I was a little boy. My grandmother. I don't know how old I was, but I was at least five. <laughs> Maybe younger, but I don't remember. But I was at least five years old. Let's get it clean, get all the seeds out. As much as you can get it cleaned. 
So now that we have everything cleaned up here, we're just gonna go ahead and just do everything a nice julienne for this chop. Next, we're gonna put in our garlic. Chopped parsley. Put in there. Some olive oil. Be generous with the olive oil. Always garlic and olive oil, be generous. Sea salt. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna give it a mix. That's everything. That's everything? That's everything. Ah, that's so amazing! I am about to try the frosted red peppers. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, this is very quick and really quick, really easy. So the top quick. We're gonna spin something. Yeah. So the roasted red peppers, it's more like a condiment. You can eat it on its own. Okay. So right now we can have it with some, uh, like some of this non bread. But you can have it with uh, with crusty bread. I've seen it used as a condiment in many cases. It's so. For example, the video where I made the uh, the veal sandwich. Yeah, the you can put sandwich. some as a topping on the veal sandwich. Oh, as a yeah. We have some. When I was yeah. looking at it, this this sambal looks like a topping, right? Yeah. You can use this for even pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I've seen it used on pizza, but for me, I grew up eating this by itself with bread. Oh, okay. So I didn't like that, but I like having it on its own like this. It's just good enough. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. We don't have bread today. We have bread. It's yeah, it's, a little, it's, a, it's very yes, similar. Yes. It's similar. not the same thing, but mm -hmm. this is what I have at the house. So. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give this a try. I can't wait to have enough of this dish. <laughs> Alright. You're right. I'm African. You should yeah. give me more, man. This is not. It's a try, it's a try, but you gotta wait. <laughs> well, Alright, so, guys, have a bite. <laughs> you didn't even wait for me, eh? Okay, let me try first. Mm. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I love this. It's very delicious. <laughs> Personally, I like spices. It is the roast in the pepper. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not spicy pepper. It's just regular. <laughs> it's not spicy. So you 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 use the spicy pepper, but it's just regular pepper with a smoky flavor. What is it? Yeah.